When you need strength and wisdom, turn to God. He is the one who can answer our prayers. We are nothing and God is everything. When we need help, we need to reach to God for help because he truly does love us. God loves us so much he sent his only begotten son to lay down his life so that we may have eternal life. He has broken the chains we were held down by and through him is the only way to paradise. So trust in God. He is your best friend and creator. Praise his name daily. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. He is our best friend. Praise his name daily. Welcome, everybody, to another live stream. Here we will be refuting Jake the Fake, the Muslim metaphysician. Uh, but before we go into too far here, I do have a brother sitting backstage. He's ready to join the panel. He's ready to jump in this destruction, this funeral that we will have for Mr. Jake the Fake. Muslim metaphysician. So, Mr. Ask Truth Apologetics, how you doing, my brother? What's up, Mr. Chris? Third time I get to talk to you today, or at least to hear your voice today. So this is a very blessed day in my life. Um, so I'm basically living the dream, man. Amen. Amen, brother. That's it. And just to give a little uh, give everybody a little context. Well, before we go into that, though, Ask Truth, we're just going to pause for a minute. We're going to say hello to everybody out there in uh, so, um, into the land of viewership on YouTube. Uh, Darcy Campbell, God bless you, sister. Thank you for everything that you do um, for the channel, for me especially. And you too, Christian family, man. Thank you so much. Everything that you do, all the support that you give. Um, it, it's amazing. The type of staff that I have, even Chloe Waked is out there with me as well. We have Nim Grace, my 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 trusted and loved moderators. We have Ask Truth Apologetics. Even though he's with me live, he is still into the chat, watching the chat. That's what type of people that I have on my moderator team. I thank you all very much. Um, all the support. Everything that you do for me, just know that everyone is very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, and Marion, God bless you. Uh, thank you so much for showing up. Rob, how you doing, man? Your question, God bless. X, Y, and Z, how you doing, man? We got to get together. I, I want to get talking to you. I want to get uh, Sister Lynn on the channel uh, live here. She's a very dear sister, and I want to I get her up here and uh, try to promote her on this channel as well. Uh, Tenshi, how you doing? God bless you. Thank you very much. Emmanuel Shahid. Uh, it was an inspiring uh, live stream that you had with Eric on the cross and the crescent of the uh, fasting and the uh, the prayer and the commitment and, and the outright love towards um, our Lord and Savior. Uh, may you keep uh, may you keep being blessed, uh, dear brother, uh, for everything that you do. T dog. Uh, how you doing, brother? God bless you. Good to see you. Andrew Martin, how you doing, man? I'm still praying for you, brother. One day you're going to come to that truth. But until then, you're still welcome on the channel, and you're still welcome to refute Islam at any time. Tom, God bless you. How you doing? Thank you so much for showing up. Michael, hello, hello, hello. Uh, we have Alpha, JavaScript, and we do have one hater into the chat. And I got to also thank my haters for showing up. Uh, Mr. Armin Moradi, probably the Muslim of the group. Thank you very much for showing up. And the reason why we want to expose, uh, or sorry, the reason why we're going to um, expose Jake and, and the reason why I call him a fake Muslim is you're going to see in a minute. Uh, a part of the uh, Sharia is that uh, you're not allowed to mock the Quran. Like, ask truth apologetics. Do you think that you would be able to go over to a Muslim land that is guided under Sharia and be able to mock the Quran? Oh, abs 
Absolutely not. In fact, I did a video on that that exact topic a few weeks ago where we were talking about um, what what is considered slander in Islam according to the Sharia. And as you may recall, Chris, the Sharia manual says um, slander is anything you say about someone, including the prophet or the Quran, that would be embarrassing to them. Now, that sounds like slander a little bit, except for when you expand it out. Even if you what you say about them is true, that is actually considered slander. So, for example, when we talk about Muhammad's marriage to a six-year-old child and the consummation when they were nine, uh, that is embarrassing to Muslims, and that is embarrassing to Muhammad. So that would be considered slander. So if we actually, Chris, just read their source and we read it in such a way that embarrasses them, that would be considered slander. And in, and in the Sharia manual, if you slander the prophet, you have become an apostate. And uh, Chris, oh. remind me what every single Sharia manual says happens to apostates. I'm pretty sure we can say that it is death to apostates. And I even believe all four schools of thought unanimously agree yeah. upon that verdict mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. There, there is no doubt when it comes to what is considered apostasy and what the punishment is. It's just the style of which there is uh, the, I'm trying to use good words here, so YouTube, you guys need, capital punishment is applied. It's how is it applied and does the person who is, has apostatized, do they get a um, chance to turn around or not? Most schools say no. Some schools say, well, they get three days to repent. Hey, Amen. That's it. They don't. Um, the problem is, is that Muslims like to redefine things. I, I think that in that video that you were doing, or, or sorry, that you were talking about, uh, you identified the how Muslims take words and they redefine them to suit their own logic, mm -hmm. right? And that's one way that they've changed uh, the definition of slander. Uh, before we continue any more, though, I, I missed a few people, and I'm sorry, guys. Sorry very much. We had a few more people show up. Radioactive, God bless you. Kenosis, uh, God bless you as well. Thank you very much uh, for the blessings upon me and my family and the ministry. St. Denis, how you doing? God bless you. Thank you very much for the support. Um, so first off, I want to get into this. Before we get into it, though, we're, we're going a little too quick. Uh, first off, I want to thank my Lord and Savior for providing me the ability uh, to have an online ministry to be able to um, defeat these arguments against the Holy Scriptures. Um, so I, I do thank my Lord and Savior for providing me that ability. Second off, I want to thank my wife and my children uh, for providing me the love, support, and time uh, to be able to do these uh, online sessions with you guys as well. And also... I want to thank everyone out there that shows up and listens to me. And I've said it every time and I'll keep saying it without you guys here. I'll be just talking to myself. So uh, may we glorify God in everything that we do. And even by in exposing these Mohammedans. And as you guys will see and agree later on in this video, how Jake apostatized and left Islam by his very own mouth. And if not, he's got a lot of questions to answer to his Muslim friends. I'm sure that he's going to be um, pretty busy for the next few days um, on damage control over the live stream that he had today, which we're going to go over. Now, again, don't like to do the live stream without starting it off with a prayer. So I pray to you, Father, in the name of your Son and by the power of your Spirit, that you grant me and ask truth apologetics the ability to speak clearly and boldly to take captive any argument against your holy scriptures i pray for the safety of the christians being persecuted in muslim lands i pray you take care and solve conflicts around the world i also pray for our brothers and sisters fighting through health problems or mental health issues i pray you reach down and heal them father dear god you know us better than we know ourselves. 
please give us the strength to keep striving for you. I would also lift up some strong soldiers of yours so that you may keep blessing them in their ministries and their families. Sister Hatun Tash and Daughter of Christ, Brother J. Apologetics, The Biblicist, Adam Seeker, Devit Ray, Brother Prophet Google, Sheikh Umad, the, the, and also Gopal's Ministry to the Hindus, Brothers Christian Prince, Rob Christian, Al Fadi, David Wood, Jay Smith, Sam Shimon, AK Sniper, Dr. Tony Costa, Steve Hussein, Reverend Anthony Rogers, of course, Brother As Truth Apologetics, Islam Critiqued, Lloyd DeJong, Somali Christian TV, Cross in the Crescent, Sister Uzma Khan, and Bob the Builder, Sister K of London, and our dear brother As the Kafir, and any other apologist and or polemist not specifically mentioned here. I also ask God that you watch over the women giving birth this year and early next year. May their children love you, Lord. I ask that if it be in your will, God, that the minist that this ministry goes full time for your glory. Lastly, I ask that through this stream today, just one comes to know the knowledge of the true triune God. I ask this in the name of your glorious Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Here we go. All righty. So, what we've been talking about here now is me and Ask Truth have spoken to each other a few times today, or he's heard my voice a few times today. So, Ask Truth Apologetics, before we get into the video today, What's been going on lately on your channel? Well, um, I think it was a week ago, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, our brother, uh, Jai Apologetics, sent a message to our little group with a video saying, you know, uh, these guys are, these Muslims are gaining a lot of followers. Um, and we, someone, he said, should respond to their video between you know this second mark and that second mark so um i was driving around at work and so i decided that i was just going to listen to the video and uh it was it was elementary level uh polemics against christianity and it was kind of pathetic so at first i think I even responded um you know like i think i'm going to throw up like these guys are kind of a joke um but uh, I'll I'll do a refutation video of it anyhow. So um, earlier this week, I published a refutation video. Um, and the names of the guys are the three Muslims, uh, and uh, did the refutation there. And then I decided that we could just do a live stream. Uh, you, myself, and Ben Beal at Ben Beal's Corner. Uh, we just did a little refutation. I had eleven points to refute. Y'all are long winded, man. Uh, we only got through three points uh so we'll end up having to do a second slash third video on that uh and you had to leave early chris because you had a debate uh with a uh what what grade was he in do you remember well i i think he sounded like he was at least 18 okay i, I think he was a, student. i think he was a, at least able to be called an adult okay. um at that point uh but yes yes you're right as truth apologetics everybody keep your eye out um, I did have a debate uh, earlier this evening, uh, roughly about two hours or three three hours ago. Um, I had the debate with the Muslim. The topic was supposed to be: um, Is the Torah and Injil uh, uncorrupted at the time of Muhammad? Now, the person that I debated, his name was uh, Polly. I'm not. I'm not going to go into too much because I don't want to review the debate. I think the debate's going to stand for itself or speak for itself tomorrow when you watch it. Um, but he kind of tweaked the title a little bit to say just the Torah, not the Injil, uh, which I still had plenty of information anyway, so it didn't really bother me. Um, I still did my thing, presented my uh, argumentation with uh, references and facts from Islam. Uh, he wasn't able to refute anything that I said. Uh, but yeah, other than that, yeah, it was a pretty good debate. Um, so I will have them, I will have that debate uploaded uh, probably tomorrow sometime. I do work 
tomorrow, but I'll try to get it uploaded at least by 6 o'clock p.m. tomorrow. Um, but other than that, I, and so I wanted to get that done because I thought that this live stream would have been way more important, and it's going to be. Mm -hmm. So before I get into that, though, I want to thank everybody out there. Um, if you like the video, uh, the only support that I would ever ask is just watching the videos, hitting that like button out there. Click on that subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Turn on that bell for all notifications because if you're like Radical Moderate, I actually have to send you the link for YouTube for some reason. He doesn't get these notifications. Uh, so maybe YouTube just doesn't like me. I'm not sure. Um, and also, if God does put it upon your heart to bless the ministry, um, we do have the Super Chats and the Super Stickers. Uh, we do have memberships. You can join as a member here on youtube and over on patreon uh so thank you very much for everyone that has joined here as a member i do believe we see a few here chloe and carolina uh thank you so much for your support and the memberships um and everybody else that does support in any, any way that you can thank you so much in everything that you do now mr ask truth apologetics tonight we will be going through a video by a gentleman by the or sorry by a gentleman that goes by the name of jake the muslim metaphysician now what do you know about this gentleman jake the fake that we will be going over okay. this evening well about the only thing that i knew about him until fairly recently was he wears a donald trump looking hat but it doesn't say donald trump on it um he postures himself as a great logician. Um, he tries to appear or claim that he is a fantastic philosopher and he has airtight logical arguments, um, mostly against uh, the Christian tenets of belief. Uh, and I assume he believes a few things about Islam as well, but uh, I've never really heard his positive claims for Islam. I've really only heard his uh, polemics against Christianity. Yeah. Um, and it, there's one thing out there. Um, I believe Jake has some rap music out there as well. Um, oh, nice. Although I thought that music was haram in Islam. Well, maybe that's me. Only if it has bells, Chris. Only right. if it has bells. <laughs> wait, wait, maybe that's just me. He doesn't uh, like ACDC, I can tell you that. And I don't know how anybody could not like ACDC, but what do I know? All right, so we got up here right now onto the screen the video that we're going to go over. But before we go over this, I just want to point everybody to the right-hand side. You might not be able to read it, but where it's highlighted orange, that's my name. And I'm going to go through a little uh, a little recap of what who's who this is and what's going on. So the person here is Unitarian Christian Outreach. So we have a Unitarian Christian on the Muslim channel. Now he's talking about Sam saying he has foul language and, and apparently Sam has heresy. That's an issue. Uh, he can't have a conversation. Another man or sorry. So he's basically saying that Sam is uh, heretical, which is laughable coming from a Unitarian. Um, and he says that he can't have a conversation. Uh, Sam can have a great conversation. I've had Sam on the show, um, and we had a conversation for over an hour and a half. Wonderful conversation. So I'm not sure what he's speaking about here. Uh, but anyways, here where he, he here's where he changes talking about people. He says, though, another man the Muslims need to watch out for is someone called Chris Claus. I am. He has nasty tactics. Mm. It attacks Unitarians. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know what? Any publicity is good publicity at this point. I'm going to go ahead and say, Chris, and the fact that uh, this guy's warning, 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 look out for this guy. He's nasty. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good compliment, buddy. It. I think it's just funny that these, um, that these Unitarians have to go on to a Muslim channel to try to get a Muslim to refute me because they can't. <laughs> right? Like, I, I, don't, I just don't understand that. Oh, a dear brother of mine mm -hmm. is on 
on into the channel. Now, dear brother, are, are you busy this evening? Oh, Rob Christian, what's up, buddy? How you doing, Mr. Rob Christian? Are you busy this evening, Mr. Rob Christian? Because if not, I got an extra spot here on the panel. Because I think that you can help uh, show here how Mr. Jake is apostatizing from Islam. Now, again, Mr. Rob Christian, if you don't have the time or, or if you're busy, which I know that you have a little one, and may God bless uh, your little one over there. May God bless keep, or sorry, may God keep blessing you and your family, brother, uh, with the ministry that you've got as well. Uh, but if you do have the time, let me know, brother. I'll send you the link in Skype uh, to join us on the stream. Um, and it'll be pretty funny uh, because there's certain admissions that Jake makes in this video uh, that you're going to actually uh, probably laugh over. Um, so you may want to clip a couple of them out just for laughing sakes, right? Uh, Sunni are killing Shia and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. And Muslims have been killing people all, all over. Right? Amen. From day one it's, of it's Muhammad's like that, death. Yeah. What was that called? The Riddle Wars or something? The Apostasy Wars? Yeah. Literally day one. Day one. Yeah. Day one. Um, these Muslims always talking smack on their YouTube channels. It, they are. So that's why I want to go over here on Jake, uh, the Muslim metaphysician. Uh, because he gets a, he's he's a little gangster here. Now we're not talking about this normal Muslim here. We're talking about a gangster Muslim here. So let's let's get into it. We've got an interesting segment here for you guys. The name of the video is called "Scared Shamoon." Everybody knows who I'm talking about. The one and only Scared Sammy Shamoon. He loves to say scared Sam Shimon, but Jake, I actually asked Jake, and this was months ago, and I actually have the messages, and, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll put them up. I have no problem with it. I'll put them up on the YouTube. But I have messages of me asking Jake if he would actually debate Sam. This was months and months ago, and he declined it. He's like, no, 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 I, I don't want to debate him. So Jake actually ran from sam shimon over three months ago and now he's saying that sam is scared i i just think that that's rather comical um mm. from him doing that hatoon notice the spelling because she's a cartoon hatoon is a a strong warrior for christ uh she's being beaten she's being stabbed they're trying to kill her over in the uk and this disgusting of an individual uh, that thinks he's some little gangster Muslim, wants to sit here and try to, to talk bad about a woman just because she criticizes your religion. Well, what a, what a real man that is, eh? What a real man that is. Character. And goons exposed. Because they're all part of this <laughs> squad that uh, I've managed to come across because they're giving me so much attention. <laughs> all right. Hey. It's the Goon Squad, people. That's right. You know who the Goon Squad is? It is Jay Apologetics and Chris Santa Claus. That's how he <laughs> that's how he refers to me near the end of the show. We me and Jay Apologetics, we are the Goon Squad. Chris, you're given the gift of truth every day. So thank you, Santa Claus. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Um but anyway, you'll, you'll see that later in the video. He actually goes to Jay's video. We're going to go over it. Um, and that's where he really messes up when he tries to refute Jay. He refutes Islam. Um, and he shows how he's not truly a Muslim. It shows that he's basically only, only a Muslim because he has one argument, which he thinks is the logical problem of the Trinity. Now, I may get into that near the end of the stream. Uh, just to give my view on what I think about the logical problem of the Trinity, uh, where I stand on that, and a little uh, tidbit pieces about Islam and some logical problems of their own, uh, since Jake likes logical problems. Um, but anyway, yeah, so the Goon Squad is me and Jay Apologetics. And I have no problem being a part of the Goon Squad if my brother jay apologetics is the other member in the goon squad i am in great company 
at that point. I will walk shoulder to shoulder in the battle with that brother any day. So thank well, which, you so much. Which which one of you guys is going to do the truffle shuffle? It'll have to be Jay. It'll have, It'll have to, be to be Jay. Jay. Well, yeah. he doesn't really show himself on camera, man. So I think it kind of narrows it down. Yeah. We'll make <laughs> truffle we'll make. shuffle. All right. Let, let's I love the Goonies. Which I like. They love me so much. They want to make so many videos about me so i'm gonna address them yes we love your stupidity so we make videos on your stupidity exactly but what i've done is i say you know what there's something that all these people have in common sam shamoon had tuned the cartoon character and the rest of these fools they're all a bunch of goons so i've named them the goon squad okay. and uh yeah that that's you know that's yeah he, it probably took a long time for him to do that. Uh, I wish I could join you, but please show the part of his today's live showing. We don't believe in some heavenly eternal tablet. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> I am going to get to that, Rob. I'm that's why that. Yes, Rob, I, I've got that part. And there's another part. He actually um, I, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler, but not the full spoiler. He actually mocks the Quran. Now, I know that you know, Rob, what happens when somebody mocks the Quran. He's going to have some answers when, uh, when, when his Muslim brothers get, get at him here. Let's squad up, goon squad. All right. Let's see what it is. Because Let's squad up, goon squad. And since, and since our brother Jay Apologetics, the other half of the goon squad, could not be with me tonight, I brought in the next best replacement for Jay which is Brother Ask Truth, and I'm sure that Jay Apologetics affirms my decision and agrees with it. Well, we'll see, but uh, thank you. Because what I'm going to do in this video, the main thing anyway, and you know what? Let me not be rude to my guests, my people watching me. Salam alaikum to everybody. I know I said it, but shout out to everybody in the chat. I see All right, so that's the just the starting there. that I wanted Make to sure get you to. Share this video with Sh the Shimunians and all his little. Make the sure you go squad. and unsubscribe. Subscribers, Here I'm not go. even going to mention some of their names. The only ones that I'm mentioning by names are the ones that are sort of the top of the goon squad, which what? is Scared Sammy, Shimoon, and Hat Hatoon Tash. Notice the tune is, is spelled with the cartoon spelling because she's a cartoon character. So let me do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and notice I'm going to show you. This is hilarious. This. I'm going to show you. Okay, let's start with Hatoon because she just made one video about me recently. Right? So let's. Hey, guys. Um, did you all see the video that Hatoon made about Jake? the fake Muslim metaphysician. Uh, did you, I know Marion, Marion comes from Hatoon's channel. She's a DCCI supporter as well. Um, Marion, wasn't that a video by Jay Apologetics on Jake, the Muslim metaphysician? Didn't the DCCI ministries, didn't Hatoon Tash upload that for Jay? in promoting the video i'm pretty sure that's what happened but let's just take a look here let's share my screen as you guys can see here let's see one second okay there we go all right so you see this is dcci ministries if you're subscribed make sure you go and unsubscribe <laughs> don't even watch any of this nonsense yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure any Christian that's watching him, if there is, is going to unsubscribe to Hatun Tash. That, that's just not going to happen, uh, Jake, the fake uh, Muslim metaphysician. Uh, but after we expose your ignorance of Islam, if there is any Muslims that watch this video, which there is going to be plenty, which you will be one of them, there are going to be answers that you're going to have to give to your Muslim brothers over what you said in this video, because basically, if we're taking what you said, you're an apostate to the religion you claim to be. But let's continue here. 
So Muslims shouldn't even be watching this crap. But she's got almost, she's got what, 45K subscribers almost? She made this video. Amen for the glory of God. Keep that number going for our dear sister. Go right here. We're not even going to watch it. But look, is Jake the Muslim metaphysician scared? She made a video saying, is Jake the Muslim metaphysician scared? Was she ripped off? She just stole it from another channel, one of the lower level goons. She took a video he made, which I'm going to play a portion of it and show this guy's a complete fool. Oh, so now, um, I, what, so what's going on here is, is Jake pre presenting this as in Hatun Tosh went to Jay's channel downloaded his video stole it from him uploaded it on his channel to try to get so many views so she's he's insinuating that she's stealing or doing something uh something to jay now let me just key you in mr jake the fake muslim metaphysician our dear sister hatun tash and my dear brother jay apologetics talk daily uh, I believe he's on live with Hatun at least once a week uh, lately, doing quite a few videos on the preservation of the Quran and things to this nature. Uh, so I do believe that Jay probably sent her the video after he did it. And she said, wow, that's a good video. I'm going to upload it. So I don't believe that there was anything nefarious within the uploading of the video from one of the one of the goon squad mr j apologetics my dear brother so the way that he's setting this up we just shows how ignorant and, and uh how much he just doesn't care about truth right what do you think so far ask truth well what i was gonna interject with was you know what's what's wrong with somebody stealing another person's video and uploading it uh, i mean I seem to recall seven sleepers in a cave being stolen and uploaded into some eternal uh, golden tablet in the sky with uh, Allah, as well as stories about um, some guy named Solomon talking to ants and uh, Jesus apparently breathing uh, life into clay birds. Um, if we're going to talk about plagiarism, uh, I think we could also move on to the Quran as well and, they have plagiarized a few things, I do believe. <laughs> quite a few. Quite a few. And from some pretty bad sources as well. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. I didn't mean to scare you with that ugly part old of the, face. That was part of the gangster. Yeah. Gangster, man. Gangster look right there. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to scare you with that look. You know, he looks <laughs> very fearsome out there. Very fearsome. Thug life. <laughs> try, not, try not to laugh too hard, guys. Try not to laugh too hard. All right, so let's get into here. This is the starting of when he goes to our brother Jay's video, um, and he starts to go over this. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is the one that's on the cartoon the characters. Find a video that Jake. This is from one of the other goons, place where you Mr. Jai Apologetics. He's part of the goon squad, really desperate. So let me go to the point, because what he's mainly addressing in this video He's addressing my response to Sam Shamoon's argument <laughs> that the Trinity is in the Bible. Oh, let me see this one second here. Because I have the I have the. And what I'll do here is I'll, I'll just pause it and I'll just explain how even dumber uh, Jake, the fake Muslim metaphysician is here. Uh, he's trying to say this, but the reason why sam said this is because of the view that jake takes about the trinity and, and the logical problem thereof so sam says if you have this logical problem of the trinity then uh, within the bible or the christian doctrine then you must now reject the quran for the same reason and he could show the type of trinity within the quran which would show a logical problem within the quran so it's basically because you're saying this, he's going to show you for you to be consistent, you now have to reject the Quran. So it's not like it's his argument to be able to do it, but it's there. Um, but 
anyway, let, let's get into this great, wonderful refutation that he's got uh, to our brother Jay. Now, everybody get a pen and paper. Uh, the uh, Muslim scholar, uh, Mr. Jake, uh, is about to start teaching on how you properly refute an argument. Uh, and, and let's just see how he does. All right. Timestamp, but I'm going to have to find it now. One second, guys. And I also want to say that uh, Brother Jay was right because during this live stream, or sorry, during the live stream uh, that Jay was doing, um, he actually said that Jake watches his videos. So he actually spoke to Jake. Uh, but we don't get to that part in this one. He's looking for a number, people. That's all he's doing. As long as it's like, not the number three, it's okay. Yeah, like how stupid can somebody, like, you can't find a timestamp? I got this timestamp real quick. I didn't have to sit there and look at, I don't need to know well, what he's looking at. I think dude, he's a metaphysician at, can't just find a number, right? They have to logically find the number, and they got to do a whole bunch of syllogisms in order to get there. Yeah. So let me see if he... We'll watch this. All right, here we go. <laughs> all right, okay. So that's all, I mean... I shouldn't say that's all he says because I'm gonna be honest. I didn't listen to the whole video. I, I can't listen to these guys in their entirety. They they just too much for me sometimes. So I listen to parts of it and I can barely listen to you as well, dude, because you're you're so dense. Aw, uh, Jake, did my brother Jay hurt your feelings when he said he couldn't listen to you? Aw, uh, poor boy. Notice how he he had to repeat just after Jay said, "Yeah, I I can't stand yours either." That's almost like a, a, a my dad's tougher than your dad. <laughs> like, I'm rubber and your glue. Whatever yeah. you say bounces off me and sticks to you. Oh, this is hilarious! All right. If someone like, like, hey, did you see that? Maybe I'll check it out. But I didn't listen to the entire thing. But that, from from what I have seen, that's all he talks about in regards to who the identity of Gabriel and the Holy Spirit. Or, or Gabriel, the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's all. That's that's all he says about that. From from what I know. Okay. So his argument is this, let's put it out in the form of a syllogism because this guy's a, you know, he's the logician, he's the metaphysician. So premise one, okay, premise one, chapter two, verse 97 says that Gabriel reveals the Quran to Muhammad, okay? Premise one, Gabriel reveals Quran to Muhammad. Premise two, 16, verse 102 says the Holy Spirit reveals the Quran to Muhammad. Jake is saying, therefore, conclusion, Gabriel is, okay. Why is that an invalid? Yes. So our brother Jay is right. What Jake is saying is Gabriel brings the Quran. The spirit brings the Quran. Therefore, Gabriel's the Holy Spirit. That is not a very logical argument. So I just wanted to state that just in case it wasn't understood because Jay's li or uh, Jake the fake's listening to it um, fast so he can go through it. That's all valid argument that's his argument why is it invalid jake come on so now listen first of all he he claimed to put my argument in the syllogism <laughs> and now watch he's going to tell you why the argument is invalid listen to this listen to his analogy that he gives and where did he get his analogy from scared sammy <laughs> scared sammy they followed these guys that's why i said he's the head of the goon squad come on you're the logic guy you should know better all right okay let, let, let me let me switch it up let me switch up A law struck down Jake's mic uh, during this rebuttal. The a little bit, okay? So, I'm Jay, and premise one, Jay makes videos on YouTube. Premise two, Jake makes... He keeps pausing it and trying to talk. I want you guys YouTube. to... And, and premise one, okay, let, let, let me... Let me switch. <laughs> I want you guys to pay very close attention to the analogy he gives. The analogy between what he's saying and what I've said. Go ahead, watch, listen to this. Switch it up. Let me switch up the verbiage a little bit, okay? So, I'm Jay, and premise one, Jay makes videos on YouTube. Premise two, Jake makes videos on YouTube. Conclusion, by Jake's logic, therefore, Jay is Jake. No. Wow. Everybody hear this nice refutation uh, from Jake, the Muslim metaphysician? I think his uh, Allah struck down his mic uh, during this refutation part. Because the video is actually playing. This was actually live. Um, and Jake wasn't looking at the computer enough. Jake makes videos on YouTube. Conclusion, 
by Jake's logic. Therefore, J is Jake. No, that's invalid. So you're pointing out two things that they, you're pointing out, sorry, you're pointing out one thing that they have in common that they do. And then you're saying that therefore their identity is the same. So here's something. There is our brother's argument. He said, you're pointing out two different things and showing what they do and they're, you're identifying them by that. So that's what his argument truly is. Let's see if Jake actually addresses that or if he creates some type of straw man. Something that they both do, therefore their identity is the same. They're identical. Jake, you, you should know better. You should know better. All right. Now let's get into the Quran. Let's get into the passages. Let me get Jake off the screen. So this is his response to the argument. <laughs> This is this is his response to the argument. Let's let's actually now what we're gonna do is let's since he said he can't listen to us for too long, I feel you because I can't listen to you for too long. So let me close out all these other clowns. And I'm gonna show you Oh, so he had all of our pages open. So he likes watching all of our videos. Thanks, Jake. In the Quran. Let's go to the Quran, debunk these guys. Okay. Remember, he's going to the Quran to debunk these guys. 297. All right. Share my screen here to show you guys this. Saying, because his argument is that the Holy Spirit is God in the Quran. <laughs> We believe in the Trinity is stuck for the law. So this is chapter two, verse 97 it says here, say whoever is an en enemy to Gabriel, Jibreel, he said, it is none, but he who has brought the Quran down upon your heart. O Muhammad. By permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, confirming that which is before it and at, and as guidance and good tidings for the believers. So let's put the word by word up just so people don't think, okay, we're making, we're messing around here. It says, say, whoever is an enemy to Jibreel, Jibreel, then indeed he, indeed he brought it down upon your heart by the permission of Allah. Confirming what was before it and a guidance and glad tidings for the believers. So who is the one who brought down the Quran? Jabriyat. He's the one who brought it down upon your heart. Now, let's go to the, the next verse here, which I brought up. 16.102. So let's take a look at 16.102. Let me share my screen again. Sorry about that, guys. Here, so screen all 16102 basically all jake's doing is going to read these verses uh basically to show that jay was right says so say oh muhammad the pure spirit has brought it down from your lord in truth to make firm those who believe and as a guidance and glad tidings for the muslims okay so let's make let's go to the word by word to make sure we're not playing around say same word, same word has brought it down, right? Nezalahu, right? Nezalahu. He has brought it down. What? The spirit, Rojo. And we see here, it's clearly mentioned the Holy Spirit is the one who brought it down. From your Lord in truth to make firm those who believe and as a guidance and glad tidings for the Muslims. So we see in 297 that Jibreel alayhi salam is the one who brought the Quran down on the uh, heart of the Prophet. And we see in 16102 that it says that the Holy Spirit is. Now he's making the claim, well, his analogy is, well, just because there's two figures doing the same thing or two names doing the same thing it doesn't therefore follow that they're the same person and his analogy is and he is right jay is right in 
what he said. So I'm not sure what is laughable about Jake, the fake Muslim metaphysician, but what he said is right. Mm-hmm. Is Well, hold on a second. Jay makes videos. Jake makes videos. Therefore, Jay is Jake. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? How is it this is not ridiculous. analogous? He's making First fun of, all, of you. It's not analogous because we have one entity, yeah. which is Al Quran, the Quran. You are using a plural to refer and making it analogous to something that's singular. The Quran being revealed is singular. So the Quran is one thing and it's being revealed is one thing. And you're analogizing that to <laughs> Jake or Jay making videos which is plural and jake making videos on youtube which is plural jay let me help you out here's i'll strengthen your bad argument which you should which he what he's doing is he's trying to focus on the analogy instead of the argument so jay's still right in the argument and jake the fake muslim metaphysician doesn't want to address that but what he's going to do is he's going to side dance Jay's true argument against why what Jake's saying um, and, and just try to ponder his way through this. But watch this. Should have said is Jay makes the video on YouTube because that's a singular thing. Jake makes the video on YouTube. <laughs> Therefore, that means that Jay and Jake are the same person because they both made the video on YouTube. Well, it's obvious from the context of why it's not analogous. First, you use the plural and analogize it to a singular thing. Second problem is that we know what YouTube is. We know what platform it is. We know that there are many different people on YouTube, and we know that there are many different people making videos on YouTube. How is that analogous to the Qur'an, which the Qur'an is one thing, its revelation is one thing. Where in the Qur'an does it say that multiple people were revealing the Qur'an? Mm. What Jay would want us to have to believe. (laughs) Oh, oh, is that a challenge? He's going to refute himself here in a minute, isn't he? Jake, Jake, is that a challenge? Where in the Qur'an does it say multiple persons or spirits reveal the Quran. And I want everybody to notice that this whole time he's been using a mocking tone in this answer. So he's mocking his own Quran saying it's not there. He's mocking his own Quran. Well, what I would do, Mr. Jake, if I was you is I would probably go and pick up your Quran and turn to chapter 97 of your Quran and go to verse 4. So again, Surah 97, verse 4. I know my Arabic brothers and sisters out there in the chat know what I'm good, getting to now. And it says here, the angels and Jibreel. What? No. What, Jake? <laughs> that means it's not just Jibreel? <laughs> so again, verse 97, verse 4 of his Quran, where he's actually mocking, saying it's not in his Quran. This guy's too stupid to even know what his Quran actually teaches. But in verse 97, verse, or sorry, sir, 97, verse 4, it states, The angels, plural, and Jabril descend in it by the permission of the Lord for every affair. It doesn't say Jabril, though, buddy. (sighs) You're right. (laughs) I thought I thought I was going to help him. Well, I caught you, man. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to do my best Jai impersonation, and it doesn't it doesn't say that. I know. I you caught me. It caught me. It says therein came down the angels 
and the spirit. Hmm. So that would mean there's a category distinction. I know that Jay, Jake, the fake Muslim metaphysician, he, he's a logical individual, right, people? We see the categories here. We see angels and we see spirit. What side of the bracket do you think Angel Jabril would be on Ask Truth Apologetics? Oh, man. Um, I'm not good at, at logic. I'm not good at meta logic either. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say, because you use the word Angel Jabril, I'm spitballing here. He would be categorized in the angel category and not the Holy Spirit category. Oh, do I win? I think you do. Hey, I think you do. Unless he is the only angel. Allah's like, no, no, he can't be an angel anymore because he's now my spirit. Mm -hmm. So unless no, no, that darn it. That can't be it either. People. If Allah can't adopt a son, can't be a father. <laughs> Can't do it. Well, I tried to help you, Jake. I tried to help you. So it actually says here in Surah 97, verse 4, since Jake wanted to mock his Quran and, and challenge us to find a verse in his Quran where it says what this does, the angels and the spirit descend therein by the permission of their Lord with all decrees. All right. Whoo. There we go. Sorry about that, Jake. You know, I, I, I thought we, I thought I was going to be able you to tried, man. I'm sorry, Jake. I came in here and I, I just pointed out um, the obvious. It's only because I know how to read, though, which is a, I guess, a step up from some potential prophets. <laughs> oh, ain't that the truth? All right, I'll try to mute myself because I think we had a little bit of echo last time. Maybe it was me. I'll try to mute my mic here. So, we, if there is an echo that you do hear, it's probably just Jake believe is that the Quran is one thing the Quran's revelation is one thing and that there were multiple people involved in revealing the Quran so the Jabril alayhi salam and the Holy Spirit are two different figures and both of them are revealing the Quran how ridiculous is this oh my god how ridiculous is this oh how ridiculous is this? It's not ridiculous, and you're mocking your Quran. It's in Surah 97, verse 4, since you're too stupid or you're illiterate like your illiterate prophet. Yeah. And I, I think the key word here is category distinction. Category distinction. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just to try to say that the Trinity is God, they have to say that J or Jai, whatever he wants to call himself, and uh, Jake are the same person, which was not analogous, in order to try to fit the Trinity in the Quran. This is how desperate these guys are. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Also, we're gonna put the we're gonna put some uh, a cherry on top for these guys. Let's put the let's put a cherry on top for these guys. And we are going to go to Sahih Bukhari. Okay. Let me share my screen. Hope you guys can see. All right. So we're going to pause it right there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a few minutes to speak on the hypocrisy of Jake. We're going to lower him down from the thing here. So ask truth apologetics. So far, from what you've heard of, of Jake so far in, the, in this stream, how confident would you be if you were a Muslim to learn from this man? Well, to be honest with you, if I was Muslim at this point in time and I had never heard anything yet uh, about this topic, I might be with him. Um, knowing what's coming next in the video, um, he absolutely buries himself actually he ends up contradicting himself in terms of only one person revealing the quran he clearly is going to show that there are at least two entities that are revealing the 
Quran, and in no way, shape, or form as of yet has he been able to prove that Gabriel is the Holy Spirit. Uh, we have gone through so far and have made a very strong case to demonstrate that the angel Gabriel is categorized as, well, an angel, and that the Holy Spirit is in a different category. So those are two different things. Now, he's trying to argue that the Holy Spirit um, and Gabriel both reveal the Quran. Um, I don't think any of us deny that that's something that uh, the Quran says, but the question is, is the Holy Spirit and Gabriel the exact same person? Well, I don't think so. There's another interesting thing when he starts to mock and misrepresent, honestly, uh, Jai's argument. So he's saying that there's multiple videos and multiple people who upload videos onto YouTube, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, Jai used multiple, uh, he used a plurality, right, as opposed to a singularity because uh singular the quran is singular well that in itself is actually problematic jake um because the quran in itself in pretty much every category is not singular right so it was not revealed in one singular revelation it was revealed over the span of 23 years um it has different chapters different verses etc cetera, etc cetera. and even today we are very much aware that the Quran exists in several different forms in the Arabic. So that's basically as much as I have to say about that now. I'm just waiting for him to uh, bring up ringing bells. Where do you think they're getting it from? They're getting it from Yeah, that's, that's the problem I find with the clowns like Jake. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for that input, man. That was awesome. Awesome. I see that there is some fighting going on to the text. Uh, if anybody uh, is thinking that they want to the link to come on up and defend themselves, go ahead. Um, if not, they can, uh, you know, they I, I'd have Rob Christian up here if they want to discuss with Rob. I'm cool with that. But if not, I just want to finish the show. And thank you very much, Scott Hughes, for the uh, super chat may god bless you and he says here uh the muslims tried to be different they claim angels are made of light we say they're ministering spirits hebrews one islam god and angels have no spirit amen that's a really um, good point scott it, it is a very good point and another thing that um i'd like to point out as well is that we know that when we accept christ and that when we are born again we have a spiritual change. We have that promise in our scripture that we will have that spiritual change in us, that we would hate that old self of ours and that we do that complete 180 and walk for God and God alone. Now, in saying that, we don't find that in Islam. Can you show me in Islam where anywhere in the Quran where it says, once you say your shahada, you're going to have this spiritual change amongst you. There is none. There is nothing spiritual in Islam. It's all physical pleasures that a whoremongering uh, Arab wanted to promulgate mm -hmm. for as long as he possibly could. And that's basically uh, what's starting Islam. Now, I do have another part here. I think it's in the James White part. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Rob's still there. Let me know if that's the part it is. But I think the part's in here when he talks about uh, uh, another bad part as well. From James's misrepresentation. Honestly, James, this is really bad. <laughs> the, the argument and misrepresentation he made here. Of saying, well, because the Quran is refuting sects of christianity that were around the prophet muhammad this therefore means that he's the one who was the the author of the quran so silly really well wait a minute are you telling me that muhammad's understanding of christianity determines the text of the quran i need to know if you believe that because most muslims believe the quran was written no muhammad's understanding alayhi salam does not determine the text of the quran but 
individuals who believe false beliefs, of course, the author of the Quran, even if it was a man, which it wasn't, we believe it was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you're engaging with beliefs, you're going to engage with them. You're going to respond to them. That doesn't mean that it therefore can't be from God. If God created us and we have these false beliefs, it doesn't matter who they are. He's going to engage with them and say, you believe this and that's wrong. How does that mean that it's not from God? It's a silly argument. It was written on an eternal tablet. There is not a fingerprint of man on it. And Muhammad's understanding is irrelevant. First of all, he says it was written on an eternal tablet. Where'd you get that from, Jimmy? I'm sorry. Where did you get that from, James? <clears throat> Where'd you get that from, James? Where'd you get from, from that has been written on an eternal tablet that Muslims believe in an eternal tablet? Where is that? We don't believe in an eternal tablet, some eternal tablet outside of God that is just floating around in space or something. Oh, 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 oh. Ouch. Mm. Ouch. Ouch. He literally just mocked the idea of the eternal tablet now why is that problematic well, well yeah, if every ahead. if anybody turns to surah 85 verses 21 and 22 it states nay it is a glorious quran in a tablet preserved <laughs> al la al mafuz and i'm probably murdering the pronunciation of it but my dear brother rob christian an arabic speaker into the text i know that there's a few more but i know that rob is one there it is people that is the word in the verse that i just read it means eternal tablet hmm. preserved huh Pre <laughs> like so okay hey. so if so one of the things that he's perhaps trying to say is that it is uh, e eternally preserved on earth perhaps is that i mean could could he be possibly trying to make that argument like there's an eternal tablet that is here preserved on earth and if it, if the original revelation of the Quran is on some sort of tablet preserved, I would I would love, and I bet you Muslims would love to see that tablet, since it's preserved by Allah. Where is the original Quran tablet? That what's really problematic that I see here is literally Jake has mocked his Quran twice. Here we are. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Rob says, at Chris Claus, uh, that word, I'm not going to, that Allah keeps between the eyes of the angel Israfil. Aha, so that's mm. where he keeps it. I see, mm. I see, I see. Yes. All righty. Yes, it is the eternal tablet. So what I see that is problematic here is Jake the fake Muslim metaphysician is mocking his own Quran. He's stating that there's no way that there's anyone other than uh, the angel Jibreel that brings down the Quran. We went to Surah 97 verse 4 that says the angels and the spirit which separates categorically angels from the spirit that uh, would reveal revelation angels being plural now i'm not sure if 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 jake understands what plural means it doesn't <laughs> simply mean one angel it means multiple angels jake we'll, we'll get that one out for you um but yeah so you mock the quran there and then you literally denied the eternal tablet that is in surah 85 verse 21 to 22 that's apparently between the eyes of a of an angel floating around in space. By the way, he said it was not as if it was out there floating around in space, outside of Allah. So unless the 
tablet that's in between this angel's eyes is inside of Allah, he's incorrect even from that position as well. Uh, Armin over here said, nowhere in the Quran does it say that the tablet is eternal. Uh, regardless, I don't know where this preserved tablet is, no, no. even if it's not eternal. It's it, I'll even grant him that. I know it says it's eternal, but it, I'll grant him that uh, it, it's but it's preserved. Where is it? Between the eyes of an angel floating around in space, I suppose it all makes sense if you don't think about it. Yeah, and uh, I'm not going to take some slidey Muslim that likes to troll my chat uh, to try to miss word to, and just miss word so it makes Jake look a little better here. Because it, it, that's not what it means. It is the eternal tablet. It is in wherever Allah is. <laughs> preserved. Preserved apparently. like pickles. Apparently. But what... Now, my question to Muslims out there right now. If someone, a Muslim... Uh, I'll ask Mr. Rob Christian. My question to you, brother. If... A Muslim mocks his Quran. If a Muslim denies the verses in his Quran and mocks the verses of his Quran, is that grounds for apostate or apostasy? Hmm. According to Sharia. One hundred percent. I would be very interested to um, see what our Muslim friend Armin has to say about that. But absolutely, like one hundred percent, it's slandering. You're literally making fun. You're mocking the source of your religion. That is slander, and slander is apostasy. So that's it. We've just shown that Jake has left Islam. Jake's never truly been a Muslim. He he can't answer simple questions about his Quran. He didn't know what was in Surah 97 verse 4. He mocked it. He apostatized. He literally mocked his prophet and his own God. And he's sitting there laughing about it. Yeah, yo, I'm I'm on those goon squads, mines. I'm living rent free in their head. Man. What you need to do is you need to start praying that your Muslim brothers take pity on you. Because what you've just done is you've apostatized from Islam. Now, when somebody apostatizes from Islam in a Sharia-controlled country, which you're probably very lucky that you don't live in right now, is that three out of four schools of thought do not give you a chance to repent, you die. One school of thought, I believe, gives three days to repent and then death. Mm -hmm. So three out of four schools of thought, you're done. One, you would have three days to recant your words and, and admit you were wrong and repent. But if you didn't, you die. So they, they still believe that apostates need to die. They just give you three days, the one. So, Jake, instead of making yourself look so stupid when you're doing these videos, would you at least sit down and read your Quran so a Christian, you know, one of those lower level people, you know, part of that goon squad you know so we don't have to teach you your quran it's pretty sad when this lower level goon squad member has to teach mr jake the fake his own quran that that's that's pretty embarrassing jake now is there any last thoughts that you may have on that mr s truth not yeah. on that that particular point. No, I'm super excited to talk about bells. Go ahead, sir. Well, are are you going to play any more of the video? 
Um, if not, it's fine. I don't even know what yes. it is on the. Yes, you are going go to. I will go back to it. Yeah, I, I will. I just want to play that part first. Now you want to get into the. Yeah, here I'll play the video because you wanted the hadith, right? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Here we go. Beginning of his collection starts out with revelation. Starts off with the hadith about the intentions. Everybody's uh, familiar with this. The very next hadith, which they quote to attack the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was it say? Was it say? Mother of the faithful believers, and it's going on, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How is divine inspiration revealed to you? Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, sometimes it is revealed like the ringing of a bell. This is This form of inspiration is the hardest of all. And then this state passes off after I have grasped what is inspired. Sometimes the angel comes in the form of a man and talks to me and I grasp whatever he says. So what does it say? Sometimes the angel talks. Would you like to take over yet? Oh, yes, I would love to take over right now. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So let's talk category distinctions of Mr. Mud Muslim metaphysician. Category distinctions. There are two categories here. There are bells that are bringing revelation to Muhammad. Correct, Chris? Yes, sir. That's what Sound I see. Sound of ringing of a bell is one way. Another way is the angel comes in the form of a man and talks to him. Those are two different categories. There's a bell and there's an angel. So let's go ahead and go to some hadiths that talk about bells. Sahih Muslim 21, uh, 13. Angels do not accompany travelers who have with them a dog and a bell. So bells and angels don't mix very well. The bell in uh, Sahih Muslim 21, 14 is the musical instrument of Satan. Abu Harai reported that the Apostle of Allah as saying, the bell is a wooden wind musical instrument of Satan. That's Sunan Abu Dawood 2556. Uh, Sunan Anisa, and by the way, these are all Sahih. Uh, I heard the Messenger of Allah say, the angels do not enter a house in which there is a small bell or a bell, and the angels do not accompany groups of people who have bells with them. Let's talk about uh, syllogisms, all right? Muhammad said that the bell is the instrument of Satan. Muhammad received revelation from the sound of a bell. Therefore, Muhammad received revelation from Satan's instrument, the bell. So that's a problem. Jake, the Muslim metaphysician. That's a problem for all Muslims if they're Sunni and they're going to follow uh, the Sunnah, right? So that's a big deal. So how can an angel be there at the same time as a bell? They can't be. So categorically speaking, they're two different things. And an angel can't be a bell unless, as whoever said, the Christian family man, it's hell's bells. Unless... Somehow Muhammad is hinting to us that he's receiving revelation from, drum roll please, Satan. Which, as Christians, we would probably agree with that statement. That might be the most true statement um, that uh, Muhammad ever spoke, was that he's receiving inspiration from Satan's instrument. All right, I think I'm done at that point for now. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, Jake, the fake Muslim metaphysician, doesn't want to read the rest of this, but it says the angel comes in the form of a man and talks to me, and I grasp whatever he says. Aisha added, Verily, I saw the prophet being inspired divinely on a very cold day and noticed the sweat dripping from his forehead as the inspiration was over. I think she so, meant to say perspiration. I'm pretty sure she meant to say that, but we know how friendly uh, Jibreel and Muhammad truly were. So I'm not quite sure what Aisha could have been talking about there, uh, but we're not going to get into that. Not into that. So as of right now, Jake, 
the fake Muslim metaphysician has has mocked his Quran twice. He didn't know about Surah 97 when angels and the spirit, right, identifying categorically the difference between angels and spirits. And he also mocked the Quran, stated that no Muslim believes in an eternal tablet. Hmm. Sir, you got some questions to answer for that one. I seriously, seriously send you some deep regards in that one. And ask truth. What was the last one about the bell? What what was so bad about that one that Jake said? Well, uh, apparently bells are the sound of uh, the instrument of Satan. Oh, so when the revelation came like the ringing of a bell, that would have been receiving revelation from this instrument of Satan then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. So now Jake is affirming that his prophet was receiving revelation from the instrument of Satan He's mocking his own Quran. He has apostatized from Islam. I wish the man luck. Wouldn't you agree, Astruth? Yeah, I mean, he, he's in America, so I would go ahead and guess he's fine. Um, and I really do believe that a majority of uh, YouTube Muslims hate Christianity more than they love Islam. So as long as he keeps attacking Christianity, I think he'll continue to get Muslim support. I want to see if our mean Maradi is an honest Muslim. All right. All right. Let's see if you're an honest Muslim, Mr. Armin. You said you still haven't got it. He might be a Shia. Nowhere it says tablet is eternal. All right. So I'll grant it. He may be a Shia. No, all he right? can't be a Shia. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shh. You'll grant. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm ruining everything. Darn it. Yeah. So, but Armani. If he is a Sunni Muslim, wouldn't you agree that Sunni Muslims do believe in the eternal tablet? Let's see if let's see if our Min Maradi is an honest Muslim or not. Let's just see. Countdown, sir. I, I want you to play that video where he says Sahih Muslim or Bakari. <laughs> Pretty sure no, uh, no uh, Shia would say that. No, no, yeah, that that's what I was. And it it should have given it away while we were doing the video when he was reading from Sahih Al Bakari. Um, <laughs> the way he said it was such such reverence. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I, I'm not sure. It looks like our uh, honest Muslim may have ran away for a minute here. Or maybe uh, Allah's got his tongue. I mean, the cat's got his tongue. Wait, here he goes. I uh, don't read what he thinks in his head. Yeah, good answer. Good answer, honest Muslim. Good answer. That's you admitting that I was right. Yeah, and I, if, I asked. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. If Jake does actually claim to be a Sunni Muslim, Armin or Armin, whatever you want to be called, then he is in fact wrong that Sunni Muslims do believe in an eternal tablet that is preserved with Allah. Isn't that true, Mr. Armin? Let, let's just be honest, man. You don't got to stick up for everybody's stupidity. Let's just put that out there, right? Yeah, and I asked him a straightforward question in the chat. I said, yes or no, true or false, the Quran is eternal. And he has yet to answer that question. It's pretty straightforward. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> it takes him a little while to type, though. So, And I understand that. Mr. Muslim, go ahead. Send it away. Am I Mr. Muslim? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping for that Mr. Armin guy to do it. But I, I, really, I really can't see him being honest here. Um, but hey, you never know. We, we may get that one honest Muslim. Well, if he's honest, he would slander the prophet. It would make him look bad. And then since he slandered him, then he would be 
um, you know, uh, considered an apostate. He's not willing to do that yet. So if you want to preserve your life, sir, at least for this life, not the eternal life, go ahead and keep doing what you're doing and avoid embarrassing your religion and your prophet. Amen. Amen. Keep it up. But if, but if you do want to have eternal life, go ahead and embarrass your Quran and your false prophet, please. Yeah, I didn't eat, I didn't know that either, Nim, and I, I think that they actually do believe in it. But if Armin wants to lie on the Shi as well, I'm okay with that. But I know that Jake is a, a, a Sunni Muslim, a, a professed Sunni Muslim. Well, before anyway, right? Um, so yeah, he's a Sunni Muslim, so he cannot reject the eternal Quran, which he did, which is in his Quran. Um, and he also rejected uh, Surah 97, verse 4 of his Quran as well. Um, see, he, he's in, he's in some bad notes. Oh, and also he, uh, he claims that his own prophet received revelation from the instrument of Satan. Right. So I, he, he done dug a hole for himself today. And I welcome everybody to the funeral of Mr. Jake, the fake Muslim metaphysician, because literally he has ended his Dawa career making these assertions. May peace be upon him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of snack bar out there. A lot of snack bar out there, boys. Mm -hmm. Hopefully all, there's bacon in Jenna. <laughs> all ham due to Allah. All ham due to Allah. There we go. Rest in peace, Jake. Rest in peace. Yes, it is the funeral of Mr. Jake the fake, Muslim metaphysician. But let's celebrate everybody. He has apostatized from Islam. He criticized the Quran. That's not allowed. Let's just take a moment of silence for Jake. Yet, yeah, and that's all you get because you're not worth any more <laughs> because of your nasty tongue and wicked ways. You've exposed yourself today. And, and that's the great thing. Like a lot of times Muslims be like, no, you put those words in his mouth. No, 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 nope, I didn't. I didn't put his mocking tone in there either. He did it himself. So Muslims out there, I call you to make Jake stand up for this. I want. I want some credibility out there in the Muslim world. Where are you? Where are all you Muslim? I want you calling them out on Twitter. I want you calling them out on YouTube. I want you calling them out everywhere. He is denying your Quran. And you're just going to allow him to do this. Disgusting, if you, if you ask me, right? He says, uh, Armin says that he answered you if you look up top. But it's not like we're gonna scroll up. Yeah, I'm just scrolling up to try to find the only thing I the, the last thing I see from you, my friend, is nowhere in Quran it says the tablet is eternal. Shh emoji. That's the only thing I've seen. I just was asking him if it was eternal, and I've not yet seen an answer from him. So if you would like to actually answer me directly, Armin, if I missed it, I apologize. Go ahead, type it in here. Is the Quran eternal? Yes or no? I'm not going to let this Mohammedan in my chat lie anymore. I think this is the one. Let's hope it is. Is that, uh, is that the right one up on the screen? I don't even know. Chapter 97, is that what you're saying? Um, no. Wait, no. Nope. Um, I thought I gotta stop sharing that one. Uh, let me try another one then. I'm gonna go to the verse. Let, let's just look at it, right? 8521, right? Is that the yeah. one you're talking about? Yeah. Let me try that one. What's that one up there now? Okay, he did answer. Sunnis say eternal, other than God. Every other thing was created by him. Okay, so there you go. It's eternal. 
Oh. Oh. Sunnis say it is eternal other than God. Every other thing was created by him. Thank you so much for finally being honest, Mr. Muslim man. So yes, the Sunnis say that it is eternal, but there's a reason why they say it is eternal. Um, and let me just go ahead and X out of this screen and this screen. And I'll go ahead and hide that one. And then we're going to go ahead and bring up this one because this is the right verse because I closed down the rest of my pages. So here, and I'm going to highlight it for everybody, is exactly what our dear brother Rob Christian was putting into the ta or putting into the text. I would like Armin, since you're a Muslim, do you know Arabic? And if you do, tell me that Motion Khan is wrong. We need some like waiting music. So I just want everybody to know that Rob Christian, our Arabic brother, God bless you, dear brother, and your ministry and your family, um, has already translated this for us. Mm -hmm. Right? Motion Khan translated it as well. So why is our mean lying about the translation? Ooh, ooh, what did you say here? Ooh. It is ooh. Oh, he said it's preserved from Satan. What's wrong with it? There you go. <laughs> now he's saying that Satan has <laughs> preserved this eternal Quran. I think he'd been trolling us, dude. <laughs> I don't think you are much of a muslim anymore uh, uh welcome to the apostasy of islam i do not believe that muslims will allow you to stay a muslim anymore uh since you're affirming that their god is satan um yeah i'm, I'm not sure where that come out of the blue from their armin maradi if you got a little upset over what your quran said you know not my fault yeah Maybe he was never Muslim to begin with. Did we get did, did we get confirmation that he was Muslim, or did we just go with all kinds of assumptions here? I don't know. Well, he he was sticking up for Jake pretty. He good. He was sticking up for him. He was definitely sticking up for him. But he could have just been some guy sticking up for him. You know, could have been. Could have been. That's a uh, wow. Whoo. Mm -hmm. Amen, Saint Denis. She's a wild one today. We've got two apostates. Yeah. Two apostates in one video, Saint Denis. There we got it. <laughs> wow. 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 Good job, Armin. Good job, Armin, for your apostasy out of Islam. Um, I wish you luck. Yeah, praise Thank God, you. man. But, uh, yeah, you, you can't be Muslim anymore after saying that Allah is Satan. That, yeah. uh, th th that, that one's a no-no in, 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 in Islam there, Armin. So now that we see Jake, the fake, Muslim metaphysician has left Islam, and, and now that we've seen Armin leave Islam, um, I do have one little thought as well. Jake likes to present an argument called the logical problem of the Trinity. Now, what he does here is he tries to pull out a, a philosophical argument and apply it to God. And he basically says that Christianity, the belief in a triune God, is illogical because of this philosophical argument. What would be a response that you might have to something like that, Mr. Ask Truth Apologetics? I think that requires some follow-up clarification questions. Um mainly focused around what a you think is a contradiction and what b what you think a transcendent being is capable of doing um because if you're going to limit them to internal uh universal laws of logic well there's a that's a potential fallacy in itself um but i would just like to see what his actual 
argument is with it. I've never actually heard his argument, so I'm not quite sure how to respond to it. Do you know what his argument is, Mr. Chris yes. Claus? Sorry about that. I was talking. Okay. I, pulled, I pulled the Jake there and muted myself and, and was talking. So I will be going over next weekend. I, I'm getting some notes ready this week. I will be going over Jake's logical problem of the Trinity. I will be doing that next Friday. Uh, or sorry. Yeah, next Friday. Um, I should be doing it. Hopefully, God willing. If not, it will be Saturday. Uh, so definitely next weekend, I will be going over the logical problem of the Trinity. Is it a logical problem and or not? Now, I will be refuting that. But the way that I look at it is I'm not sure that a Muslim could use this argument. Now, the reason why I want to say this is Muslims believe that a law is inconceivable to the human mind. Right. They can't truly know the being of Allah. Like a Muslim says, Allah's love and we love, but Allah's love we can't understand. We we just we don't have that type of understanding. Mm -hmm. Right. So in Islam, they don't believe that they can conceive their the being of their God. And they believe that Tawheed is a logical explanation for the one God. Mm -hmm. The problem that I have here again is what does Tawheed mean? Do you have an answer for us, Mr. Ask Truth? Well, I mean, it's like absolute oneness, right? Isn't that what Muslim tell us, tells us over and over and over again? That's the only thing I've heard. It actually means unification. Weirdly enough, hmm. when you define the word Tawheed, it means unification, not oneness. So that's just one problem. They don't even know how to define the word Tawheed. Now, if they want to define it as oneness, right? which is unification by definition, but yes, amen, unification. Thank you very much, dear brother. Uh, we had the magnificent prophet as well. Tawheed is unification already. But even if we want to just roll with their argument and say, okay, Tawheed is the oneness of Allah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean oneness? Do you mean an absolute oneness? Is the, isn't that what you've been told? As truth? Yeah. One, 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 one. Like an absolute oneness and that's it, right? Absolutely. Then what absolute one attribute would Allah have? Well, he's has he has multiple attributes, Chris, and he's got multiple 99 names, but he's one. Oh, so... Allah is one in every sense and an absolute oneness in every sense, but has multiple attributes and names and but is oneness. Well, yeah, Chris. Yeah. Oh, OK. OK, so I, I understand why Allah is inconceivable to the human mind. That's just a little. Part of one problem to deal with Tawheed. Muslims have been arguing and debating for hundreds and hundreds of years on what the true meaning are. Ooh, oh, oh, I, I, I'm corrected. 26 are missing from Allah, or from the 99, sorry. 26 are missing from the 99. My bad, Rob. My bad, brother. Thank you for the correction. I accept the correction. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you. So, anyway, that's just a little tid piece of information on some of the logical problems of the Trinity. Now, also, isn't there a, a logical problem that would say that 
a no i'm not even gonna get into it i'm gonna wait till next week you don't want to reveal your your uh secrets huh? yeah i'm not gonna get too much into it i'm just gonna give you that one little hint from the quran but the rest will be coming up later um it will be coming up next friday and or saturday god willing whatever day um mm -hmm. i can get in um i am working quite a bit uh recently uh but glory be to god I, i'm i'm loving my job i'm loving my online ministry um i pray someday that i do have a full-time online ministry but until then i'll do what i'm doing i've got my wife she's going through university now um she hurt herself i didn't want to tell anybody but uh, my wife hurt herself roughly about a year mm -hmm. ago um so i've been trying to run the family stay home with the, like we have four, four children we have five children one's a little older and i have a grandchild so she lives on her own but we have four other children so i've been rushing around trying to get things done working quite a bit trying to get the bills paid doing this online ministry as well uh, so my wife is getting a little bit better but uh, she can't work um standing up anymore uh so she has to find a job sitting down she can't work standing anymore so we have her going through university for something that she likes to do uh, we got her enrolled we got the tuition paid everything's going good everything's wonderful keep her in prayers that she does well in the schooling and finds the job that she desires after her schooling but in the meantime of course i will be uh, the husband and father that i need to be um, as our lord and savior has commanded us men to be uh, i will be uh, so that's I, I don't look at it any other way than just I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, right? So I just pray that she um, just does what she wants to do in the future and that I'm happy in anything that she does. And I'm always here to support anything that she does as well. Um, thank you very much, St. Denis, um, for the prayers as well. Um, other than that, um, Ask Truth Apologetics. Is there anything that you want to mention before we shut her down tonight? No, man, I just want us to to keep you, your family, your wife, particularly um, in our prayers, like dead serious. When we get off of here, let's everybody um, pray for Chris and his wife and, and the family. Um, Chris, you are doing a fantastic job. I, I know that you're working hard to, to bring an income for the family, uh, but I also know that you feel called very strongly into this online ministry. And I really look forward to every live stream that you do. I got that little notification bell clicked. So anytime you go live, if I'm able, I'm I'm going to jump in. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to learn something. Uh, so, man, I just wanted to say thank you so much uh, for everything that you're doing. Um, and I would like to you know, kind of speak out to Jake really quick and uh, to... Armin or whatever that guy's name was in our chat. I know we can be a little bit harsh um, with you, but we're, we're trying to do it to help wake you up um, to wake you up to this false ideology that you guys are holding on to. Um, and uh, we pray and our ultimate goal for everyone is to come to know the love and joy and peace of having Jesus Christ be their Lord and Savior. Um, so uh, we've got videos on that as well. So I want you guys to, to keep all that in mind. Um, but without adding anything else to that, I know it's been a long stream. I just want to thank you again, Chris, for everything you do. Uh, I want to thank our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, uh, for allowing us to get together and to speak truth out into the world and i'd like to thank everybody who's participated in the chat and i just took all of your last final statements and i made them my own <laughs> <laughs> but i'll take it uh thank you dear brother uh for being with me tonight uh for agreeing to come live with me in uh we we're hoping to get jay up here but uh god willing next time that we do something like this we get brother jay up here uh to confirm the goon squad and i don't believe it is just two a part of the goon squad anymore it's all of us it's christian family man it's kenosis it's darcy campbell it's jesus is my lord it's nim grace it's michael it's romeo it's carolina it's alico it's jade is dar dear dura and 
princess of God. Oh, dear sister, thank you so much for being here. Your words of encouragement are wonderful. But princess of God is in there as well in that goon squad. We know Chloe Wakett is one of those one of those goon squad members. She'd be mm-hmm. right up there supporting the goon squad 100%. Uh, St. Denis, Rob Christian, uh, Andrew Martin. I believe I said Jade already, but we'll say Jade again. Truth mm. Defenders uh, and everybody else into the chat. And if I missed anybody else, a magnificent uh, prophet as well. I know that Radical Moderate was here earlier. It's not just two members of the Goon, goon Squad anymore. We are all a part of that Goon Squad. Is So when he, Jake the Fake, Muslim metaphysician calls out and wants the goon squad to assemble we are assembled news team assemble (laughs) we are assembled and we are always ready to defend our scriptures but you sir jake are not he's prepared to throw them under the bus yes jake Quit throwing your scriptures under the bus, and I pray that your Muslim brothers uh, take it easy on you uh, because you're in for an awful rough couple of next days. And with saying that, thank you, everyone, for showing up. Uh, Again, if you did like the video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell for all notifications. And if the Lord does place it upon your heart, uh, to bless the ministry, you can do that with the super chats, with the super stickers, and also you can join as a member here on YouTube and or join the Patreon team as well. So God bless you. Thank you so much for being here and enjoying this exposure of Jake the fake Muslim metaphysician. God bless you all, and I will see you next weekend.